Hi, I'm Conrad Schlarbaum, the Sustainability Coordinator at Pikes Peak Community College. I created this video to encourage students to participate in the Office of Sustainability's annual Trash Art Competition. We invite you to create art from discarded materials at home. Use your resourcefulness and creativity skills as you take one hour to two weeks to make your artwork. This competition teaches students to look at trash differently, seeing beauty and potential where there is waste. For more information about the event, including a step-by-step -step guide, click the link to our website in the description below. During this video, I will walk you through a five-step process for creating and submitting your artwork for inclusion in the Trash Art Competition. The five steps are plan, gather, create, capture, and share. The first step to creating trash art is to plan. The theme for the 2021 trash art competition is restore our earth. I need to create trash art that calls attention to one action I have taken to restore our earth. To begin planning my trash art competition, I brainstormed all the, of the sustainable actions that I have taken in the past year. Recycling, composting, enjoying the outdoors, picking up litter at the creek, eating less meat and dairy, and working from home. I chose the action I felt most proud of. The pandemic has forced me to recognize all of the benefits of working from home. I asked, how does this action fit with the theme? I thought about the financial, social, and environmental benefits of working from home. I saved money on my electric bill for my electric car. I had more time throughout the day that I, could, that I would have otherwise spent commuting. I lowered my carbon emissions from driving my car less. These human-made emissions are what is driving extreme weather and rising average temperatures. I brainstormed the different elements I wanted to incorporate into my artwork. Working from home, leaving my car in the garage, reducing my carbon emissions, looking out my window at a bright sunny day. I searched the internet for images of a sustainable home and a home made from a milk jug. I now felt confident enough with my plan to move forward with the process. I anticipate having to modify my plan as I go. The second step for creating your trash art is gathering materials. I looked in the trash and recycling bins, the garage, and in closets and shelves. I found a milk jug for my home, a yogurt container and bottle for my desk and chair, a nut container for the garage and a toy car for my electric car, construction paper for the leaves that represent reducing carbon in the atmosphere, and an Oreo bag for the blue sky and a yellow cup for the sun. I'll be using tape to secure the materials together. All the materials were cleaned before use. I should be able to take the tape off and recycle the materials if so desired. The third step is to create your trash art. Before we get started, I wanted to share with you a word of caution. Be extremely careful when cutting into plastic with a scissors and a box knife. You could easily injure yourself with these sharp tools and the edges they leave behind. I started with the milk jug since it will serve as the base for the rest of the elements. I cut a large hole to show the inside of my home. I cut windows all around to make it look like a home. Lastly, I cut a door to lead to the garage. Next, I worked on the garage. I cut a hole that leads to the home. And I used shipping tape to connect the garage to the home. The third step was to create the desk from the yogurt cup and the chair from the bottle. The next step, I created the sun from the yellow cup and I used the Oreo packaging for the blue sky. I used a plastic from a juice container 
to extend the sky into the air above the home. The last step was to create the leaves to represent the reduction of, of carbon emissions from driving less. I used the inside cover of an old magazine that happened to have leaves and the words recharge, which connects with my electric car. I also found the word restoration, which ties in with the theme of the competition, Restore Our Earth. The fourth step is to capture your artwork. Since I created 3D art, I'm going to record a one minute video that provides people with a 360 degree view of my artwork just like a visitor would experience in a professional gallery. If you have 2D art, we just need a high quality picture of your trash art. Here are some tips to record your video. Use a high quality camera, camcorder, or settings on your smartphone. Hold your phone in the landscape horizontal orientation to avoid the black bars and a sideways appearance of the video. Make sure you have adequate lighting by reducing the natural light and increasing the artificial light in the room. Avoid obstructions such as chairs, people including yourself, and other objects you do not want in the video. The focus should be on the artwork. Rehearse the recording and narrating of the video. Use a note card to write down your script and read it as you record the video. Record multiple times if necessary. In my script, I want to state my name, the title of my artwork, and a brief description. I am Conrad Schlarbaum. My artwork is titled Save Electricity, Work From Home. By working from home, I drive less, save electricity, and lower my carbon emissions. This action, along with others, shows that I am doing my part to restore our Earth. I have a milk jug to represent my home, a bottle and yogurt container for my desk and chair, a nut container for my garage, a toy car for my electric car, a magazine image for the leaves that represent less carbon going into the atmosphere, an Oreo bag for the blue sky, and the bottom of a yellow cup for the sun. After recording the video, I created a Word document with all the information requested in the Trash Art Competition Guidelines document. I have the date, my name, my S number, the type of participant, my artwork title, my description, and the materials I used, including the materials I used to secure the materials together. The fifth and last step for submitting art for inclusion in the Trash Art Competition is to share your artwork with the Office of Sustainability. Download and complete the Trash Art Competition waiver on our website. You can find the web link in the description below. Upload your video or picture to the cloud. You can use tools such as Microsoft OneDrive, Google Drive, or Dropbox. I like to use WeTransfer. All right, here's WeTransfer. So I want to add my video. So notice that I um, labeled the, the file with my name and part of the title of my artwork. And then instead of emailing it to the sustainability email address, I'm going to get a transfer link. And then I'm going to put a message in here so that the Office of Sustainability knows uh, whose artwork this is. So I put my name and the title of my trash art. Then I'm going to get a link. And so depending upon uh, your connection speed at home, it might take a while. Uh, I suggest um, uh, 
getting an Ethernet cord and um, plugging into your router. So that way this process can be expedited. As this is uh, uploading, I'm going to draft an email to sustainability at ppcc.edu. I'm going to copy myself in the email so that I can make sure that the uh, email uh, was delivered to the Office of Sustainability to make sure the documents, um, so to make sure I can download the documents and to make sure the link to the video works. So in the subject I called, I said trash art competition submission and then I have my submission document which is this document and then I have my completed waiver form. Notice that I didn't put any information for emergency contact and emergency phone since this event is happening virtually. Um, the risk is on your own in terms of um, creating your artwork. Then I drafted the email. I said, I'm submitting artwork for inclusion in the 2021 trash art competition. I've attached a document containing all the information you requested. I also have attached a signed waiver form. You can upload my video from this link. And so uh, instead of putting the whole URL, you could just put a hyperlink and paste the link um, right into the address here. So that way we don't have this big link taking up all the space in the email. And then please let me know if you have any problems accessing the video or need any further information. Thank you for the opportunity to participate in this event and learn more about sustainability. So once I get the link from WeTransfer, which this is taking uh, quite a bit of time to upload, uh, then um, I will put that link in here and hit send and then make sure that the copy uh, that I get in my own email box, that all the documents and links work. With that, that's, uh, that's the last part of it. Um, the Office of Sustainability will get back to you to confirm that they've received uh, the email and they're able to download the documents and upload the video. Thank you so much for watching this DIY video. Again, this is Conrad Schlarbaum, your sustainability coordinator at Pikes Peak Community College.